Thank you. Senator Mullen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just to get a little factual on what um, Mr. O'Brien just said about right to work states versus uh, forced work states. According to the compensation re data report, the U.S. Commerce Department, um, an average salary for private sector employee in 2019 was $4,000 higher, higher than the average employee in forced union states, uh, stating that right to work states pay more. Um, now, if we also want to break this down to statistics, which was quoted earlier by Mr. O'Brien, about wage differences, if you talk to the Bureau of Labor Statistics in non-union jobs, their average salaries raised 14.6% compared to 11% wage increase on unionized workers from 2020 to 2023. If you go back to the percentage of uh, union workers, because if unions was working uh, so well, then you'd see an increase in union jobs, not a decrease. Um, 50 years ago, 33% of our labor force was union. Today, it's 10.1%. Uh, if you go back and you start looking at wage earns, if you actually compare at, uh, comparable wages to ages, uh, non a, not a partisan point, but you go to all wages earned, uh, not just comparing 16 and over to 54 to 64 year old ages, you'll see that the actual average, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistic, that if you subtract the union dues, it's actually higher. Non-union employees are getting paid by roughly one to two percent, which is exactly what union dues are, is one to two percent of their salary. So I just wanted to set the record straight on that, and that's coming from statistics, all right? Now, let's talk about Mr. O'Brien himself, his behavior. As everybody knows in this hearing, the last time <laughs> him and I kind of had a back and forth. I uh, appreciate your demeanor today. It's quite different. But after you left here, you got pretty excited about the keyboard. In fact, you tweeted at me one, two, three, four, five times, and let me read what the last one said. Um, it said, greedy CEO who pretends like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company myself, and my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard in long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been, always will be. Quick the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me, any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. You want to run your mouth? We can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Big oh, hold, stop it. Is that your solution every poll? Oh. No, no, sit down. Oh, sorry, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Active. Oh, okay, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Chairman. it. Hold it. If Hold we can, no, I have the mic. Said. I'm sorry. This is Hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. And God knows the American people have enough of contempt for Congress. Let's not I don't make like it worse. Thugs and you, bullies. You have, and that's you have I don't like you because you just described yourself. Hold it. You have yeah. the mic. Yeah. You have time. All Make right. Your statement. Then let's do this because I did challenge you and I accepted your challenge, and you went quiet. No, I didn't go quiet. I was. No, I was. No, no, you no, challenged no. me to a cage match, no, no, acting no. like a twelve-year-old schoolyard hold bully. Excuse me. Hold, hold it. No. Excuse me. I, I will mic. say. I will say exactly. Senator what Mullen, said. I have the mic. You have questions on any economic issues, anything that said, go for it. We're not here to talk about physical abuse. You brought. We're not talking in. about. Of course, and, I did. and let me tell you, let me show you his hearing because I want to I want to expose this thug to who he is. And Could you not point to me? That's disrespectful. All right. I don't care about respecting you at all. I, respect I don't respect you respect. at all. So all right, hold let me, it. Let me, let hold me. it. No. You're one of the hundred of the most hold elite it, people. Please. Acted. Please. All right. This is a excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is a hearing to discuss economic issues. All right, if you have questions for Mr. O'Brien or anybody else on what he has said, go for it. I mean, but we're not here to talk about fights or I'm, anything else. I'm quoting exactly what he said. You can and say what is, you want. This is, this, is your, this is your witness this you is brought. My witness. And let me, I'm, I'm exposing him you can ex as talk a person anything you want. Right. So in, no 2013, nope. in 2013, O'Brien was suspended by the Teamsters for intimidating your own members. In 2014, uh, you were um, part of, what would you say, organizing the harassment and intimidation of the top shelf 
crew? Chef, not chef. Uh, tra oh, top, oh, top, top chef. Okay. And then, uh, and I think in the reports they said sexual r racist and homophobic slurs and death threats. 14 tires were sliced and five Teamsters were arrested. And you said, well, I had nothing to do with it. But however, in that same statement, you said, but if I get called to, to <laughs> testify, I'll plead the fifth. This is, this is what, this is a witness you brought in here. In 2017, you were removed as lead negotiator by then President Hoffa for UPS for your actions. And then in 22, when this guy was elected, what he said after he got elected was he wanted to bring the mob mentality back to the Teamsters. This is your guy. And you're he, obviously going to give him he, a chance he, to respond can, to your oh, questions. Absolutely, absolutely, because this is my question. Because you called me out. I didn't call you out. He did. You said any time, any place. That's, That's that, that. Let's get the record okay. straight. Miss, hold it. No. Hold on. Mr. Senator Mullen, do you have a question for the witness? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's hear it. So, anytime, any place. No, that's April, not. April is a charity event. No, that's not. That's no, not. No. No, it's a. He, no. We, sir, he said it, and this is. My he is time, here to tell. So no. Parameters on what the questions can or cannot be asked, and I'll ask. No, you're not going to. We're not going to be talking about yeah, physical yeah. confrontation. Oh, this is about charity for a union charity, because this, this is for firefighters. Is, and do you have a question April, on his testimony? April, April. Grow April up, April please, please. You have grow a question up. You're on his. Let's not you be. You said it. You're an embar embarrassment. You said it. I'm just simply answering it. You reached out to Hold it. Hold it. Senator Mullen, you made some charges. Charges. Mr. Mr. O'Brien, do you want to respond to yeah, go the ahead, questions? Please. Yeah, I mean, look, the reality of it is, you Except know, my Mr. 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 Mullen, <laughs> tough guy. Answer, yeah. hold it. Answer the questions. All right, you all one, if I, he, he made a lot of statements, right? And his statements are fiction at best. Fiction, I read them. Can you where, 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 what? Hold, answer the question, please. I can't understand him, to be honest with you. All right. He rambles so much. What was your question, actually? Except my, well, you said I made a lot of statements. No, but what's your question? I don't understand your question. Could you repeat it? You said any time, any place. What's your question? Accept the challenge. What challenge? You said any time, any place. I'm accepting yours, so why don't you come What back? challenge? What challenge are you talking April about? April 30th. How about we do it for a charity at the Smoking Guns in Tulsa, Oklahoma? No, we're, we're not going to be talking about challenge? physical we're confrontations here. You want to fight me? What do you say by any time, any place? Let's have coffee, discuss our differences. Oh, oh that's what you said. Yeah, that's right, exactly. All right, well, let's say I don't have coffee. Let's I'd do it. To. All right. I'd love to but do it. It's funny how you're back Okay, well, I don't back on anything. You did. All you're right. the one. You're a 100. Senator. Uh, should be the most influential people in this country making changes. Senator you're focused on. Okay. You're Thank focused you. on Why debate that's not even relevant. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. Look, an embarrassment to the state of Oklahoma. This hearing is about the condition of the working class in America. You That's what we're talking about. You're the biggest thug here. You brought, you brought him in. All right, you're you're being, the biggest thug. Even look, your colleagues call you. Why you do what you're doing, Senator Hassan? Thank you very much, Mr. Senator Chair. Hassan, Senator Mullen, please yield. I've been recognized no, by the chair. Act according. Uh, now, uh, 